NASCO is an issue in precision medicine sort of break, break down into two broad categories, educational programs and then opportunities to learn from the real world practice of medicine. So uh, with respect to educational programs, you know, we talked about ASCO's clinical practice guidelines and how they're beginning to focus more and more on the appropriate use of, of biomarkers uh, in the molecular workup of newly diagnosed cancer patients. Uh, we talked about um, ASCO's uh, uh, new initiatives in uh, molecular tumor boards, a new monthly program or a clinical case along with uh, some genomic test results are posted online. There's a, a two-week opportunity for um, a, a crowdsourcing of commentary so anybody can log on and leave an opinion about um, how to interpret the case, how to interpret the genomics. And then there are, um, there's an expert analysis of the case that's then uh, posted um, you know, by a clinical oncologist and a molecular pathologist that provides a definitive analysis of the case. And then that's archived on the website for educational purposes. I think um, I also mentioned two new educational curricula, one in um, uh, hereditary um, cancer genetics, um, a, a, a really an educational program um, to inform people about um, germline abnormalities and how they predict for the risk of cancer, and then a just recently launched educational program in tumor genomics, um, again, to um, uh, provide people with the landscape of, um, you know, what, what are the prevalent um, cancer mutations, what are the technologies for interrogating the cancer genome, and how to understand this very, very complicated world of uh, precision medicine and genomics uh, as it applies to cancer. On the learning from real-world medical evidence uh, side, um, you know, ASCO is uh, launching two major initiatives um, to, to try to accomplish that. One is a clinical study in, um, uh, in for patients with advanced cancer who um, have had a, a genomic profile performed on their cancer that suggests that treatment with a commercial drug given off-label might benefit them. That's a study called TAPER, the Targeted Agent and Profiling Util Utilization Registry. Um, and the goal of, of TAPER is really to see um, what we can learn uh, from observing the practice of prescribing drugs off-label to patients with advanced cancer whose tumor has an actionable genomic variant and whether, um, you know, this practice of, of using drugs off-label is actually worthwhile or not. ASCO's bigger uh, initiative uh, in uh, learning from real-world practice is called CancerLink. CancerLink is a very ambitious um, effort um, designed to collect the complete electronic medical electronic medical record from every cancer patient from every clinical practice uh, in America that chooses to participate, and to collect in a data warehouse the uh, electronic medical records of millions of cancer patients, aggregate that information, de-identify it and then learn from it uh, in a variety of different ways.